and there we go. I have both of the banners up now, and I think it looks fantastic. So what we are going to do today is we are going to switch out the 3 8 inch anvil to the P239 quarter inch, uh, quarter inch uh, hex anvil. So I want the 3 8 on the three, uh, P239, and then we're going to put the quarter inch uh, hex on this one. Sorry, I do not, to P263, I think this is called. And so, yes, that's what we're going to do today. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I already have my favorite impact. That is uh, the quarter inch hex. So this one's universal. It does everything. I want uh, a good one designated for sockets. So that's what this one's going to be. Perfect. Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed that this is all we have to do. I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling that we're gonna be doing a lot more than just this. Everything just comes off like easy. Alrighty, so all right, so that looks like it's one solid piece. Alright, so that goes. Gotta remember that that goes on there. Yeah, see, like this one, the board is covered. Unlike the uh, the hammer drill, they did not put a moisture barrier on the board at all. This one has this one has uh, a coating. I do not know what type of coating that is, but that's good. So this motherboard is more uh, more likely not to fry out. And yeah, see, it's like it's again. The, the, this is my. This is what bothers me. Why would you have an entire base? Why would you put a magnet that small? I am bothered by that. It's like why? Why wouldn't you put a regular size magnet? That's that's just crazy. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit more into it than I thought it would be. Nope, oh, it's just snug in there. Alrighty, so. Yeah, that's one solid piece of metal. That is one solid piece of metal. There we go. And four. And this comes out. Seriously, I wonder what those are. All right, then you take a very thin screwdriver. You have these pins here. Those come right out like that. Just right there. There's two of them. Oh. Do this side a little bit more. Not much force. I, I'm just using a just using something like that. No hammer needed. So they slide right out. And this, I guess, and should come out. And there we go, folks. Now keep this, uh, don't touch this. Leave this absolutely alone. All right, it looks like it's still very well greased up. Then this should just... come right out. And it does. But there is a, a ring in there that I got to take out. And I just got the just got the searing out. All I gotta do is like really just pry it out, then it'll go over the, the 
the edge, then there we go. That little searing is what was keeping this entire thing assembled. So we gotta keep make sure we put that back correctly. All right, so two C rings and then keep that just like that. Lift this up, then that fell off. Now there is there is a ring inside, so we gotta make sure. Now there is two ball bearings in there. Now there's two ball bearings in here. Not sure if you can see it. One right there, and one off to the, and one right here. All right, so the two ball bearings that are in there go, go in, go in right there. One right there, and then one on the other side. So when we put this in into the other one, we got to make sure we, that we put those ball bearings back. That anvil is out. So we're going to have to go to this one now. Now remember, don't mix up the parts. No need to mix the parts up. Let's just slide these over. Let's take... Let's take this out. Same thing. Now this one's going to be a t tad bit different on the inside because of the those LED lights. One. I got all everything right. I just got to take this off. And this should be clear. Yep, that is free and clear. All right. So this yeah, this one is a little different. There is a connection that we're actually gonna have to take off right here for uh, uh, for electricity. I think that's for the lights. That's gotta be, like I said, there's gonna be something different on here because the lights are on the front. So we gotta have to carefully take that off just so we don't break the lights. Or, there we go, just lift it up a little bit. You could maneuver this around that, then there we go. Yeah, oh wow, this one is that's pretty much it. So this one actually is a, a significantly easier to take out. And there we go. There is the 3 8 inch anvil. But what a difference between the two. This one's brushless. Brushless. And this one's brushed. What a difference though. I like that. I like that. So let's continue. All right, so the 3 8 inch is going to go in here. Crap. That's like that, that doesn't work like that. Yep, let's make sure that before we even put it in, let's make sure that it even works, that it even goes in. Uh-oh. I don't think it will. All right, so you just don't replace the anvil. You got to replace... This is going to be a little messy. All right, so you got to replace this as well. Oh. Yeah, you got to replace this entire unit as well. So let's see if we're able to do that. I'm hoping we can. That 
is very greasy. All right, let's get pliers. It should be good, I think. Yes, it is. Oh snap! Okay, it, it is the same. It is does look like it's the same unit. There's an O-ring on that one. Is there one on this one? Yes, there is. All right, I believe they are. You got to replace this as well on both of them. So this one was from the P263. So this one needs to go into the P239 now. It looks the same. The hammer, the same size. I'm hoping this works. Oh, that sucks. And that shaft is completely different. That do that that doesn't even go in like it should. Alrighty, so there's only one thing that I can do with the parts that I have. The issue that I'm having is is the the hole for the uh, hex anvil is bigger than the three eighths. All right, so this will not fit onto this uh, this uh, impact hammer. All right, so it just it doesn't go on. So what we're gonna do is, but as you can see, if I put the the quarter inch on, it goes on just fine. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna drill this a little bit because it, it barely doesn't fit. It barely just doesn't fit. So we're gonna drill this, uh, make this hole a little bit bigger, just a little bit, just enough for that to go on. That ain't going anywhere. But we are gonna use the 5 16 drill on this. It's not making much of a dent now, is it? You know what I didn't even think of? I just thought of it just now. I didn't even think of this. I'm using a 1.5 on there. Let's see what happens if I use a 9 amp. Let's see if that makes a difference. Maybe 2 is too fast. Let that cool off for a little bit. I don't want to completely burn it. All right, so we are unsuccessful so far. So what I did is I took the brush, the, the shaft out of the brushless motor. This act, this motor actually is extremely beefy compared to the hammer drill. So what we're gonna do is we are going. The, I'll explain uh, what the situation is in a second. So I, I just want to take this out. I had to completely clean, gonna have to clean that drill. Compared to the housing, for the what a difference. And of course, that's including this piece right here, you know. But see, the issue that we're having is, is the this shaft. 
is a completely different size than the one that's on the brushed one. Oh, I doubt that we just could swap them out. Because when this one goes into the the uh, the one that came from the brush, it's not it's not big enough. It slips. So if I put this one into the into the correct one, that I that's a much much better much better uh, fit. This one just it's just small enough. Yeah, see right now it's it slips and then it catches and it slips some more, which that which that's no good. That that's the issue that we're having. And when it comes to the anvils themselves, they're a completely different size. This one is a lot. The hex is a lot beefier than the three eighths, but the hole is a completely different size. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, flat out call today a failure. I'm going to call it a failure because the anvil that I wanted to swap out is not the right size for the P239. Now you could switch out the anvil, which we are, but we're going to do that in another video because this anvil is uh, it's just a different size. You know, it sucks. I wish it was the same size, but the, two, the differences between the two anvils are too great. You know, it's uh, it's just too great. That that the this hole right here is what makes it not work. So, what we are gonna do is we're gonna put these back together, see if they work really quick, and then just call it call it a day. And we are then I'm gonna do some research on which proper anvil I need to make this a, a socket only anvil. Let's put a battery in it and see if it, everything works. Light works. You now we're gonna do a little test because I have to ch check just in case. Yes, it does. But I messed up on the. I messed up on the uh, 